Good morning. Welcome to lecture 6 of unit 2 analysis of columns and uh, connections. So, in the previous lecture, we have saw uh, we have seen uh, the types of uh, riveted joints, their classifications, types, and then uh, what are the failures, uh, six, five types of failures, and their respective formulas. And we have seen what is the strength of the riveted joint and then efficiency of the joint. So today we are going to see some of the problems related to those uh, riveted joints. Okay, problem number 20.3. Uh, two plates 8 mm thick are joined by a single riveted lab joint. The diameter of the rivet is 16 mm and the pitch is 50 mm. If sigma t equal to 120 Newton per mm square and uh, tau, this is shear stress and this is uh, tensile test has uh, tensile stress that is equal to 19 newton per mm square and uh, sigma c is for uh, bearing 160 newton per mm square determine the efficiency uh, efficiency of the joint so we have to find out the efficiency of the joint we have to find this value so the given data set thickness of the plate 8 mm diameter of the rivet 16 mm pitch distance 50 mm tensile stress 120 mm shear stress tau, tau uh, 90 mm crushing stress sigma c 160 mm so here it is given as single riveted lab joint it is a single riveted lab joint so number of rivets in uh, one pitch length is uh, one is equal to one also the rivet are in a uh, simple shear so we have to find out the uh, stresses that is first we have to find the strength of the uh, bolt strength of the rivet and then we have to apply in this strength of the riveted joint we have to find then strength of the solid plate so first one uh, consider the pitch length of the joint then using equation that is uh, this is for uh, to finding out the strength of uh, the that is tearing strength so here it is p is equal to sigma into p minus t into t uh, so sigma is nothing but your tensile uh, stress tensile stress which is 120 and then p is pitch distance pitch distance is 50 mm and then the diameter of the rivet which is 16 mm into uh, thickness t so t is the thickness of the plate which is 8 mm so after this you will get a load of 32,640 newton then shearing stress so in this case uh, the number of rivets is only one so the p value p is equal to n into pi into pi by 4 t square and then so n is n value is 1 shear stress value you can substitute which is equal to 90 and then pi by 4 d square d is nothing but diameter of the rivet that is 16 mm so substituting all of this you will get uh, 18095.5 newton then crushing strength of the pitch so crushing strength is nothing but pc is equal to n into sigma c into d into t so n is 1 here number of rivet rows and then sigma c is 160 and then diameter uh, is 16 mm and thickness is 8 so here 2048 uh, 20480 newton then uh, least strength you have to compare these three and find the lowest value that is the strength of the rivet joint strength of the riveted joint that is numerator value is the least of these three so here list of this is 18095.5 which is the shearing strength of the uh, rivet so we are going to take that then strength of the solid plate which is nothing but sigma t into p into t so sigma t is nothing but your uh, crushing stress 160 uh, into p value pitch distance which is uh, 50 mm and then t is thickness so multiplying you get uh, 48000 newton so after uh, finding out these two things we can find out the efficiency that is efficiency equal to strength of the riveted joint by strength of the solid plate so here list of uh, these three which is uh, 18095.5 divided by total strength 48000 so by dividing you will get uh, 0.3767 in percentage 37.67 so this is the efficiency of the riveted joint then problem 2 
uh, in the same uh, these given data the plates are joined by double riveted lap joint in this case it is single riveted and in this case it is double riveted and the pitch distance is here 8 cm pitch is equal to 8 cm in this case it is 5 cm or 50 mm in this case it is converted as 8 cm so uh, the same procedure follows we have to find out so first given data and then find out the uh, tearing strength then uh, shearing strength and then we have to find out the crushing strength so these three as usually have to calculate and then the strength of the riveted uh, joint is the least of uh, these three and then uh, we have to find the uh, strength of the plate which is already found out in the previous uh, strength of the plate and then we have to divide to get the efficiency so only difference uh, in this problem this problem is the pitch distance changes and also the plate is it is double riveted so the only change here it is you can see that in the shearing strength the n value is equal to 2 because it is a uh, double riveted which have two rivets so n value is equal to 2 so that is the only change here and you will get the final answer is 47.12 here the total plate thickness is here it is uh, 120 into 80 because pitch distance is changes 80 into 8 so the value is 76,800 newton so divide by dividing it we get 47.12 percentage then so these are uh, for lab, lab joints so these problems also the same similar problem so in this case they have given two values so for the same first step is to find out the uh, tearing strength then uh, shearing strength then crushing strength and then find out the least value of these three that is the numerator of the efficiency then we have to find out the strength of the solid uh, plate so this is a denominator then dividing you will get the efficiency if only the strength is asked you can stop till this you can stop till this and then uh, this can be presumed if the efficiency is asked let's see another problem for a, uh, an application oriented problem a thin cylinder shell 1500 mm in diameter is made of 12 mm plates the circumferential joint is a single riveted lap joint with a 22 mm diameter rivets at a pitch of 50 mm if the ultimate uh, tensile stress is stress of plate is uh, 450 newton per mm square and the ultimate uh, shearing and the crushing strength is 300 and 600 respectively calculate the efficiency of the joint so this is also the same uh, type of problem because some of uh, this question is uh, twisted like an application so that is a thin circular cylinder it has been given ok for this uh, first step is to find out uh, the diameter of the shell is 1500 mm and then uh, thickness of the plate, uh, dia dia of the rivets, and pitch, and all other are given here. So here, number of it is a single lap joint, single riveted lap joint. So n value is one. Then uh, rivets are in a uh, single shear. Uh, so the following, the tearing strength, then the shearing strength. Here n value is substituted as one, and then crushing strength is given as here then uh, the efficiency you have to find out and for the least uh, you can see that it is the same type of problem the only thing is uh, the question is asked like an application sum so don't be confused the question can be changed but the most of the problems are it is similarly the same value then we will see for a uh, but joint type uh, problem okay here a single riveted double cover bed joint is a structure is used for connecting two plates 12 mm thick uh, the diameter of the rivet is uh, 24 mm the permissible stress are 120 uh, newton per mm square in tension 100 newton per mm square in shear and 200 newton per mm square in bearing calculate the necessary uh, pitch and efficiency of the joint so in this case they are asking to find out the pitch distance they are asking pitch distance so here also the same procedure uh, you can easily uh, do this problem first step is to find out the tearing strength of the pitch and then shearing strength of the pitch and then bearing strength of the pitch and then least of these three will be taken as 
uh, the numerator that is uh, the least force is taken as the numerator and then strength of the plate that is denominator. So in this case the pitch value is not given. The P value is not given and you have to substitute the P as it is. Here also, uh, here there is no need of pitch distance and here also there is no need of pitch distance. We have to find out the least of these uh, three forces. You can see here equating P1 to the least power of uh, P we get. So here uh, in, in this case, uh, P values are found out. One is uh, 90500 and another one is 57600. Even if you substitute this value, the p value is 64 mm. The p value is 64 mm. And then again substituting this, you will get the same, uh, this value. So we are taking this as the least one and we are substituting here. And then after substituting this, you can find out the efficiency of the joint. Then, uh, next type of uh, problem. Okay, here, let's see with this uh, example, example 20.13. Find a suitable pitch for a riveted lab joint for plates 1 cm thick if a safe working stresses uh, tension in the plates and crushing and shearing of the rivet material are respectively. They are given the tension, uh, crushing and the shearing. The following are types of the joints. First one is single riveted, then double riveted. And find the efficiency of the joints in the above two cases. And diameter is given as six times the rate of thickness. They have never given the diameter of the, um, they have not given the diameter. But here it is given that the diameter is equal to six times the root of T. T is nothing but the thickness of the plate. So in the question, there was single riveted and double riveted lab joint. It is a lab joint single riveted and double riveted uh, to find out the pitch distance. So first case, a uh, diameter is 6 times the root of T, thickness is 10 and uh, so uh, diameter is 19 mm. So it will be uh, approximately 20 mm because uh, uh, rivet are available in standard uh, dimensions only, say 15 mm and then 18 mm and then 20 mm. So it cannot be in between those uh, mm's. So the rivet is lab joint. So first one is single shear. In this case, n value is 1. For single riveted, the n value is 1. We have to find out the three stresses. Uh, similarly, uh, shearing here, shearing stress, uh, crushing stress, and uh, crushing and tearing, the three values. And we have to take the least of these three. So, uh, only two we will get the answer. We have to consider the smallest value and substitute in the tearing strength so that you can find out the p value and it can be approximately equal to so uh, you can see in the first diagram generally the pitch should not be less than three times the diameter you have to check these two times here the pitch is 39.8 but you know that uh, this is uh, for a single riveted lab joint so in the first case it is a single riveted lab joint this is the pitch distance. You can see it is uh, 1.5 times the diameter or uh, the pitch distance must be equal to 3 times the diameter. So here also you can see that it is 3 times the diameter. Diameter is 20 mm so that it is 60 mm. So we have to take the pitch distance as 60 mm. Then uh, we have to find out the as usual efficiency. Uh, which is equal to uh, the numerator which is least of these three and then there will be strength of the uh, plate strength of the plate is uh, will be here sigma c into p into t which is uh, 90,000 uh, by dividing you can get the ratio so similarly for uh, double riveted so for double riveted the same value you can uh, do here the pitches value is uh, directly coming as 60 mm so here the efficiency is 65 point Nine seven. So these are the problems for uh, finding the strength and then uh, efficiency. Then next type of problem is designing of the riveted joint. Designing of riveted joint. Uh, these are the following steps which you need to uh, study well. 
So first to design the uh, diameter, these are the designs. First diameter of the rivet need to be designed, then pitch of the rivet, the number of rivets required, thickness of the cover plate, then uh, diameter of the rivet. So these are the things, uh, sorry, these four things, diameter of the rivet, pitch, number of rivets and thickness of the cover plate. So cover plate is uh, only in the butt joint, not in the lap joint. So these are the things we have to find out in the designing part. So first one, diameter of the rivet will be equal to, diameter is equal to 1.6 times root of T. In general, uh, the diameter is taken as 1.6 uh, root of T. So this is for uh, lap joint and for uh, butt joint, uh, the diameter is 6 times root of T. This is for butt joint and this is for uh, lap joint. Then pitch of the uh, rivets. So uh, pitch can be found out by using the efficiency formula. That is efficiency equal to P minus B divided by uh, D. So in this we can rearrange this and find out the pitch P value. And then next is to find out the number of rivets. For the number of rivets, so pitch it can be found out by this relationship or else uh, the pitch can be uh, found out by the uh, tearing strength and then comparing with the other uh, strength then the, uh, take the least value and substitute it in the PC value as in the previous uh, problem like this. We have found out uh, the least value of this and substitute in this uh, equation to find out the P value. Similarly you can uh, do it here. So similarly you can substitute and find out the P value. Then number of uh, generally you can see here the value of pitch is obtained your equation should be between 2.5 and 3 times the rivet diameter. So note down this uh, thing you have to find out even though this value is much lesser you have to check for this uh, thing that is uh, the pitch value should be 2.5 or uh, 3 times the rivet diameter. Then number of uh, joints. So number is nothing but it is P divided by least rivet value for shearing and bearing. You have to compare shearing and bearing so that the least value should be taken as a denominator and uh, P value is the force or pull transmitted across the joint. That is the applied load is P value. So total load divided by least shearing or bearing load will give you the total number of riveted joints. Then fourth one is the thickness of the cover plate. Thickness of the cover plate. The thickness